हेलो आई एम श्रुति एंड आई एम सेवेंटीन ईयर्स ओल्ड हेलो आई एम भूमिका एंड आई एम सेवेंटीन ईयर्स ओल्ड आ क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द चेंज इन जियो थॉम्सन कोफिशियंट इन स्पेस द जियो थॉम्सन इफेक्ट इज अ फिनोमिनन दैट इज सीन व्हेन अ हाईली कंप्रेस्ड गैस इज पास फ्रॉम अ रीजन ऑफ हाई प्रेशर टू अ रीजन ऑफ लो प्रेशर थ्रू एन ऑर्बिट द गैस अंडरगोस एक्सपेंशन एंड इज सीन टू कूल एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज कैरीड आउट अंडर आइडियाबैटिक कंडीशंस एंड इज आइजो एंथाल The change in temperature can be explained due to the expansion of the gas there is an increase in the average intermolecular space and consequently in the potential energy as the process is under adiabatic conditions as per the law of conservation of energy an increase in potential energy leads to a decrease in kinetic energy and hence a decrease in temperature leading to cooling the joule the joule thomson coefficient is the rate of change of temperature per unit change in pressure mu is delta t by delta p For an ideal gas, mu is zero. All gases except for hydrogen, helium, and neon undergo cooling at room temperature. This is because the inversion temperature, that is, the temperature below which cooling is seen in Joule Thomson process, is below room temperature for these three gases. All gases with mu greater than zero cool above room temperature, while those with mu less than zero show a heating at room temperature. Method. The Joule Thomson apparatus is taken to space, and the experiment is carried out as is done on Earth. On Earth. Hypothesis: As atmospheric pressure is lower in space, the change in pressure will also be lower. Delta P is inversely proportional to mu, therefore mu will increase with a decrease in delta P. This means that even helium and hydrogen can be cooled easily at room temperature by the Joule Thomson process. This can have enormous applications as liquid helium and liquid hydrogen have widespread uses in cryogenics and as fuel. Result: mu will increase in space.